Um, today we're going to put some fresh bramble into the sticking sets. Um, and just give them a bit of a clean, some clean tissue, a bit of a spray. Okay, so I'll just start taking them out. And swap everything over. Now we're not sure exactly how often you're meant to change them. Um or whether you're meant to keep handling, taking them in and out oh. to change them all the time. Sun dropped. Come on. So from any most anybody knows, will you please comment? Or if you know a better way to change the bramble than keep pulling them in and out. I don't like to do it but I've just got my head under that camera a few times. Okay. Oh. You. Ow. Go. That's nice. Probably best just to take the whole thing out, to be honest. Probably. Just take the old stuff out with them. Right, there's a few on it and there's a few... Because, as you can see, the bottom is absolutely disgusting, so it certainly needs cleaning. Yeah. Oh, there's a few up top. We can change the... The water pot. We can change the tissue, okay? It's just... The bramble. Come on, in there. I'll leave this in here with them. Oops, this one doesn't want to come off. Zigzag. I'll tip this one. So. We could stay there, to be honest. It's not doing any harm there. True, but I wouldn't like to hit him with a bramble when we put it in. Go on. It's quite wet in there, isn't it? Okay. I know the tissue is going to need changing quite often, obviously, because it just gets absolutely disgusting. But do you wait for all the bramble to go before you put fresh in? I'd say no, just replace it as often as you can. But then you're disturbing them all the time, I don't know. Tarantulas, I'm okay with. These things, I'm not so good. And they've um, got no. poop everywhere. I like poop machines, these things. They really are. Right. Let's get some fresh stuff in for them. Leave that one in because that's got some nice leaves. Okay. And then... I'll stab myself like that. As I say, trying to stab myself, I do exactly what I'm trying not to do. We've got some really fresh leaves. They look like just... Ow, new ow, sprouted ones. Stabbed so. into my hand. Is that in the water? Be enough anyway. Ah, that stabbed into my finger. <laughs> Sorry for the pings. You can just position them right, wherever they need to be. You know what? Come on, I have tweezers. See, now we're going to try and get back off this one onto here. Uh, that's not the part. Oh. I'll start with these two, you start with those two. There's got to be a better way to do this. It really does. This is yeah, big it's not hard to do this. Oh, Lord. I don't like disturbing them all the time. That's no, they'll be okay. This one that's missing a leg. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in there. Go on. Once it leaves, these things are quite stubborn, they just like to stay on your hand. You literally won't go on the leaf, he's just chilling on my hand. 
Come on. Did you just trip on me? Probably. <laughs> That's me before. Yeah, I'm a bit nice. One more. Oh. Yeah, one more. I got one. both the stumpy ones with missing legs. <laughs> that one's fast considering it's only got five legs instead of six. They're all completely different sizes now. Some are quite big, but... Yeah. Some are still small. small. Super cute, though. I really like them. Go on. So there's some fresh, nice green leaves in there for them. You can see the lighter coloured leaves look nicer. Yeah, but if any of you out there that do have stick insects, have a better solution to pulling them all out every time we need to change them. Please let us know. Where did you put that lid? Oh, it's here. Okay. Watch sure that one. I know. They're all done. My face under the camera right now. Thank you for watching.